Hey guys, it's me Juanita and I'm back again with another video and it's going to be a Morphe brush haul. I ordered some stuff the other day online and it came in Friday and then my husband also, he's amazing, he wanted me to go to the Morphe brush store and pick out some things and see how the store is because we live about an hour and a half away from Burbank so it was really a nice little drive a family trip because we have two girls. I'll get more into that later but I am going to show you what I got and um... I did open two of them because I did do a look with one of these palettes today and it was the 35T which is the taupe one and it is amazing. Look I love it. I That's one of the only things that I tried out was just this palette. It is amazing. I love it. It's right up my alley because I'm more of like a neutral nude kind of person. I love nude lipsticks. I love nude eyeshadows. I have all of the naked palettes and the naked basics and even the naked um, runaway I think it was or something like that. But I love this palette. I used pretty much this whole palette to do my eye look today except for my inner corner because it didn't really have a light enough color for me. So I used something else but I used this palette today which was amazing. And then I also picked up while we were at the store the 35W which is the warm and I thought I grabbed the neutral but I guess not. I guess I grabbed the W but this palette looks amazing. It looks like something that I'm going to be getting a ton of use out of just because again it's right up my alley. Look how great <laughs> look how beautiful this palette is it is amazing these colors are so pigmented look at this look the black let's see another color that I know I'll get some pretty good use out of this little bronzy gold color look at those let's grab another one another brown color those are so beautiful I love the colors and then I also ordered one palette also from online and I haven't opened it yet. I haven't even looked at it. It's their newest palette. It's the 350S palette, which is the shimmers for the 350. And I loved it. Let's get one. A second here, because I'm literally, it's the first time opening this for you guys. Let's see. Let's see what this baby has to offer us. Oh my goodness, I forgot there's more bubble wrap everywhere in this thing. A little, oh, little heart open. Oh my goodness, this, this thing is beautiful. I seen it in the store and it really didn't do it any justice just because I wasn't really paying attention to it because I was getting a different palette. But look how beautiful this is. I can't wait to use this because this is literally heaven for me. Just pure heaven. It is the perfect browns and oranges and this is perfect for the fall because of all of the nice little fall colors in here it is amazing looking so let's get onto the brushes now that we're done with these palettes and i'll go with the brushes that i bought online first just because i don't have the name of all the other brushes i have the numbers but not the name and it came in my inventory so i actually know the name of all these ones which i got 11 brushes when i ordered online and i picked up 12 when i was in the store and you know what's so funny it was I was so excited about like picking up a bunch of eyeshadow brushes because honestly I really don't have very many good name brand eyeshadow brushes that I did not pick up one not one blush or face powder brush and I was like what the hell is wrong with you 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 missed out on everything but I did I was like a kid in the candy store what can I say I was like focused for like one thing and this first brush I got is the M330 and that's what it looks like it is let's see it is a blending crease that's what it says so this bad boy is gonna get a lot of use just because I love my crease brushes I love my little fluffy just tapered brushes I friggin love them so much to blend my eyeshadow out with that's pretty much what I use all the time and then I got an E20 which is their new elite line and it is beautiful I went into the store and that was one of the sections I went to and I was like I don't really need any of these eyeshadow brushes but I'm pretty sure I picked up some of them so what is the E20 it is the oval detail buffy buffer it says sorry about that and it is amazing I can't wait to use this on my concealer under my eye just everything 
And then I got an E48, which the E48 is a pointed powder brush. It's a little small, but I guess it can be used for like highlight or something, but it is gorgeous. It's so, this is so soft. Like I can't wait to just like maybe pop some highlight in there or use it to like bake my face with because I am obsessed with baking right now and I just, I can't get enough of it. And then what else did we get? We have an E28, and this is why I didn't need any of the Elite brushes while I was there, but I still looked anyways, and I'm pretty sure I grabbed some stuff. So the E28 is a rounded blender, which it looks like this. It looks amazing. These are such sleek and such beautiful like brushes, and they're so amazing. Let's see how much, I don't know if it'll tell me how much this brush was. It doesn't, but it was reasonable and it's amazing and I can't wait to use these once I use these I'm gonna let you guys know which ones are my favorite and which ones I'm like eh um let's see what this one is this is the R36 and it is a pointed highlighter brush this thing is beautiful I can't wait I could probably even pop a little more highlight in there right now let's grab my I used my Becca today my opal let's see how this oh look at that it just it puts it like in all the right spots. Look at this. Oh god. This brush is going to be probably my new fave. It's amazing. Let's see what else we got here. We have an M504, which is a large pointed blender, and it is large and it is in charge and it looks like it's going to be amazing just to get it all over the lid and just to use as like my um, transition color this is gonna be amazing to put it everywhere and let's see what else we got here we have the e61 so let's see what the e61 is for it is a pointed highlighter brush also as you can tell I'm obsessed with highlighting this is what this one looks like I love the way these brushes look they're so beautiful the elite is probably one of my favorite besides the rose gold just because I'm obsessed with gold I've always been I always wore gold as a child and this just amazing amazing and then let's see what else we got here we have the m505 and it is a tapered blending brush which look at this these brushes are gonna get so much use i swear like i'm i'm a mom of two so i really don't do makeup like this too often but i do normally like like to wear a little subtle just basic eye and these brushes are just gonna be perfect and then let's see what else i got here it is the e45 and it is a mini detail contour sorry if i keep looking down guys it's because my little sheet's down here and i can tell you what the actual brushes are so i actually just use a small contour brush today let me see if i can find it real fast because all my brushes are behind me i use this and i loved it so i know this morphe brush is gonna get very much used and then um next one it's the e27 and the e27 is a round blending blender it says and as you can tell i love my blending brushes because this girl can't have no harsh lines look at that this is amazing these things are so much use i love 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 these brushes and i normally keep all of my brushes together like in front of me on my vanity but i'm probably gonna have to get it its own little home just so it could live peacefully with all the other lovely morphe brushes but let's see which one this one is now it's the m510 and this one is a pro round blender which this one i know i'm gonna use a ton i don't know what it is about these like blending brushes but they're amazing they're life i swear I, I i just love them and that one is all for all of the brushes that i got online now i have some more brushes that i got in the store let's see let's get into this i can't tell you what they are i don't know but i will leave it in the description bar down below to let you know what it is just in case you might want to pick it up and also i will be doing a giveaway when i hit 500 subscribers so let your friends let your family let everyone know so they'll subscribe to me and we can do a giveaway when i do the giveaway i'm going to be giving away a whole palette which you guys get to pick whoever wins gets to pick and i will be giving away two of my favorite morphe blending brushes for the palette so hit that subscribe button Let's see what we got in here though. Let's see. I think that's all. Oh, wait, you know what? I have the receipt. It might tell me right here. Oh my goodness, it does. This is amazing. Let's see. 
I got the R33, which it is a round blender. It looks a little like dense to be a blender brush, but I guess I can see how this works for like maybe underneath. It's really big, maybe underneath my eye, or maybe like popping some of that dark in my corner and then blending it out with a blender brush. But this one, I think it'll get pretty good use out of it too. And then we have the E27, which I think. I bought one already and I did so this might actually be in the giveaway you never know because I don't need two of the same brush but hell you never know and when I do go I'm gonna be going down to the Morphe store when I do the giveaway I will be picking out the pa picking up the palette for you and picking up two brushes so don't forget to subscribe let's see this one is the E27 which we already see it's a pro round blender so I'm gonna keep this in the case don't really want to touch it just in case I do decide to give it away and then I picked up the E20 which is this is another one I have so you know what these actually might be the two brushes I do do the giveaway with because I I couldn't help it they're just so beautiful out there so I had to pick up more than one you know but what else do we got here we have the R35 and the R35 is uh, deluxe blender sorry about that guys I love these dual fiber brushes I, I won't don't know I really don't know I guess maybe this should be considered dual fiber even though it was with the rose gold because it is part of the collection but I love these brushes one of my other favorite brushes is this Luxie 205 tapered blender and I love this thing and it actually looks very similar to me this one's just a little more fluffy a little bit bigger as you can tell but these things are amazing so I'm sure I'm gonna love 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 this one and then we also have the R37, which the R37 is a pointed blender. As you can tell, I'm obsessed with my eyeshadow brushes. As I said before, I did not pick up not one damn face brush, which was, I was like, what the hell? What's, what's wrong with you? And then what else do we got here? We have the R40, which as you can tell, I was obsessed with the rose gold. I didn't order rose gold specifically because I knew I was going to go to the store. So R40 is... Uh, deluxe pointed blender sorry about that it's like crickets this thing is beautiful these brushes are amazing I swear like these brushes are gonna get so much they're so soft I just love touching them I want to use them all like at one time yep and then we have the e46 which this one looks like a let's see what is this it is a mini angled buffer so I know this is gonna get a lot of use too when I do contour because I do like to contour my nose it's a little chunky as you can see but this thing will get a lot of use just because it is beautiful and it is cute and it is amazingly it just feels like fits in the hollow of your cheeks so well and I know it's gonna be bomb dot cut so let's see what else we got here we have the R 39. The R39 is a tapered blender. As you can tell, I have a problem with blending brushes. I'm addicted. So, look at this thing. This is looks a little more flat than like all the other blending brushes, so this one might actually be good to like This is what I like using them for, just popping some dark into the corner and I'm obsessed. Hi, my name is Juanita, and I have a problem. I love buying naked brushes. Oh, let's see what else they got here. I have the R38, which it is a round blender. Sorry, I'm sorry I keep looking down so much and I keep like taking my focus off you guys, but it's for a good cause. I'm letting you know what it is, and I will be leaving the descriptions of these down below. This is what this one looks like. It is beautiful. It is amazing. It's going to get tons of use, just like I said before. These things are so gorgeous, and the thing I love about these is that they did the Morphe and the, the numbers and the letter in rose gold, so it's so beautiful. It, it's even just good eye candy for your vanity. Let's see what else we got here. It is the R30... Sorry. Mm, dyslexia kicking in. It's the R43. And it is a small chisel detail, it says. So this is going to be my smudger. This is going to be something I'm going to use under my eye to do like my little... Uh, I don't even know what I was going to say. It's just going to be something to smudge under my eye with or to like get that eyeliner when I want to smudge it out right there. It's 
going to be perfect for it. Beautiful brushes. And we're down to the last two. And actually, one of these isn't even mine. I bought it for my mom because my mom over plucks our eyebrows and she wanted a good brush. So I picked this up to see if it was going to work for her. And it is the, I didn't even look at it, R44. And it is the angled liner spoolie. So this is going to get some use because my mom wa actually wants me to try out a new like a brow product for her because normally she just fills in what she has and it's it's not cutting it for her now so we're gonna try this out for her and then the last but not least is the R34 and this one is a deluxe blender I swear this one did I pick this one up already my daughter was helping me also and she's a two-year-old and she was like a kid in the candy store because she loves makeup just as much as I do and she was grabbing stuff and trying to put it in the basket and I was like baby I was like you can't do that I would love to but we can't <laughs> we have we have a budget and here is the last one the R34 and it looks amazing and I can't wait to use these and when I do use these for you guys I'm gonna let you know how I like them how good they are and all the palettes like this palette today though look how amazing this is this is beautiful I used a gold with like a maroon and then like a little bit of a pink pinkish mauvey color to like I swear I, I can't talk today I used like a little bit of a pinky mauvey color to kind of transition the mauve or the maroon into and then I use a brown to do my transition to my eyelid so let me know if you guys want to see this look and my lashes are Lena lashes so yes they're amazing they're the Monroe and they're heaven heaven I swear heaven they're just I swear the best thing ever so um don't forget I'm gonna be doing a giveaway I will let one winner pick out one palette 500 subscribers so hit that subscribe button one palette palette of your choice whatever palette you want it to be it could be a eyeshadow palette it could be the blush palette it could be the bronze palette it could be the highlight palette but just one winner will get to pick out and if you guys do decide you want to do like the blush or the highlight I will get the necessary brushes instead of eyeshadow brushes that you do need but it will be two brushes one palette one winner so hit that subscribe 500 we need 500 come on guys 500 that's a magic number so let me know and don't forget to subscribe like and comment and let me know what video you guys might want to see next I love you guys